Look, we are back today to learn division of meters and kilometers with some more vehicles. So, are you ready for fun again? Look at the train. It covered 186 kilometers, 6 meters in 3 hours. How much distance did it cover in an hour? Here, we would first be carrying the division of kilometers and then meters. So, let's divide 186 kilometers, 6 meters by 3 to get the answer. We start with 186 kilometers. Firstly, compare the digits. 1 is smaller than 3. So, we consider the next digit, that is 8 also. Now, we get the number 18. Now, compare the digits. Here, 18 is greater than 3. Hence, we divide. As 6 into 3 is equal to 18, we place 6 in the tenths place in the quotient. And write the number 18 under 18. Now, subtract 18 from 18, which is equal to 0. Bring down the digit 6. As 6 is greater than 3, we divide. 2 into 3 is equal to 6. So, we place 2 in the 1's place in the quotient. And write the number 6 under 6. Now, subtract 6 from 6, which is equal to 0. Here, we got the quotient as 62 kilometers. Now, let's divide the meters, that is 6. As we know, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Therefore, we write 2 as the quotient and 6 below the dividend. On subtracting, we get the final remainder as 0. Look, we found the quotient that is 2 meters. The quotient is 62 kilometers 2 meters. Thus, the train covered 62 kilometers 2 meters in an hour. Wow! It runs so fast! Look at these four men. They have travelled 44 kilometers, 248 meters in all on their bikes. If all of them travelled equal distances, how much distance did each man travel? To get the answer, we have to divide 44 kilometers, 248 meters by 4. Here again, we will first divide the kilometers and then the meters like this. So, the quotient is 11 kilometers, 62 meters. Thus, each man traveled 11 kilometers, 62 meters. Wow! It was so much fun to see the train travel so fast and the men ride their bikes.